So hey guys, welcome back to more Paper Lily. Now we have Psy, we can probably do a bit more. You think you can handle this? Easy peasy. Over here. Here on the wall. Spider? Yes. Is that really you? You really... Huh. You really meant it when you said you talked to a spider. He looked different last time, but it's still basically a spider. Oh, there's two of you now. Well, no matter. Miss Nye's discovered my hiding spot. She's not afraid. She's not fond of my presence. So she turned me into this. It's pathetic. Damn, she must be. She must have some crazy powers. Not quite. You both have. You both must have had some time to look around this place by now. Did you figure out where. Figure out anything strange? You mean aside from everything? Kind of a tall order, pal. Well. Maybe humans are just slow. No, what you're seeing is real. Huh? Miss Knives is kind of strange. She created this place out of her own desires, but the house doesn't actually exist. Convenient. So then, it's an illusion? To an extent, yes. There's also why I look like this. Miss Knives only sees what she wants to see. So she sees you as a little spider on the wall? It would seem so. I see. Then, to escape, you have to break the illusion. Remind her of who she is. Or rather, who she isn't. That's where those objects you need to collect come into play. They seem to have some sort of connection to her memories. Once you find and unseal, once you find and unseal them all, come back and see me. You soak the rag in the pool. Small pool, water looks clean. Painting with two protruding hands, expecting something. Looks like I can place something in these hands. My life is below average. I've been blind since I was a baby, so my parents thought of abandoning me. A blind child cannot help the family, they said, especially not a girl. But my mother says they love me so much that they wanted to give me a chance. Right now, I manage just fine. I do my chores, I go to the market, I help with the vegetable garden. Mother is sick, so she's always in bed. The doctor says she might be like this for the rest of her life. Every day I go to meet my friend at the riverbank. Iris is always talking excitedly about everything you could find outside of the village. She makes the world sound so bright. We made a deal that when we turn 14 we'll run away together and travel the mountains and seas. But I was actually fine with a simple life. The bare minimum was enough as long as I had Iris. If there's one thing I wanted, it was just to be able to see her. The first blessing changed the course of my life. I couldn't calm my breathing. I woke up one morning and I could see. I saw shapes and colors in my parents. I saw the broken dining table. I saw the weeds in the vegetable garden. I saw the chipped cup that I drank from. I saw my wrinkled clothes. Despite not having much, they were the most beautiful things I had laid eyes on. I couldn't say the same about my reflection. Have I always looked like this? Were my eyes always so bland? Was my hair always so dull? My parents gradually grew distant. People in the village stared at me and whispered behind my back. Why did they seem scared of me? Iris said she was a little nervous around me, but she was really happy that I got my eyesight back. She called it a miracle. 
my parents started avoiding me. When I spoke to them, they always tried to brush me away. The only times their, eye, their tired eyes met mine, I only saw hatred in them. Did they always look at me this way? After the incident with the boy's leg, the authorities knocked at our door again. Our daughter is a witch, they said to my, your daughter is a witch, they said to my father. They talked about how I hurt that boy, how my mother healed from that fatal illness, how my eyesight came back. They told us both, me and my father, are accused of witchcraft. Nonsense, what are you talking about? The whole family needs to be cleansed. Your daughter will be tried for witchcraft and due to your ties to her, you will be as well. Hold on, wait, you've got it all wrong. She's not my daughter. I merely found her on the street. She does not share my blood. Mother. Take him. No, please! I've done nothing to do... I have nothing to do with this! When the man walked in the house, my father ran towards the back door. He was frantically bumping into furniture to reach it. Find the girl and burn his body. Burn the whole house if it's cursed. My father's blood ran down the hallway like a small river stream. It seeped into the cracks of the broken floorboards. This is all that boy's fault. The prison cell was cold and dark. There was nobody else there with me except for the occasional rat. People always said rats are dirty and dangerous. But at that moment, I appreciated the company. The adults told me my execution will be the following morning. They said I will be burned in order to purify the village. What does that even mean, purify the village? I was alone with my thoughts for what felt like hours before someone came by. Hey, Iris? Will I get out of here? Um, listen, I'm so sorry. Huh? I, I told my dad about everything. What? No way. I thought if you might really be a witch, he could protect you. But because he knew we were friends. I'm sorry, I did this. I, I didn't know he'd try to kill your dad. He would kill your dad. And, and, and you. Please? Please take this knife? Please, please use it before they kill you? You'll be better off if you end this way. What's happening? Why would she tell me something like that? What's going on? I love you, and Father said burning is slowly, slow and painful. You're better off doing it this way. You're asking me to kill myself? Yes, because I still care about you. Is this what you call care? I didn't know what my vision would get blurry if I cry. The second blessing. You always said you wanted to try watercolors. I believe in you. So I have to get something and bring them back. Let's see. My mother got worse one day. Father said she might die. I don't want mom to die. I brought her a cold compress to lower the fever. Mother always said that water provides the best healing. That night I said a prayer to try to help her. I wished for her to get better and I wished for our family to go back to normal at least. The third blessing came as a surprise to everyone in the village. The morning after my prayer, mother was out of bed and cooking. She said she felt much better and even had strength to go to the market. You see, the coal, <clears throat> the coal compress did the, the, the job. 
Clean water is the purest thing we have. Are you sure you should be out of bed? This is the best I've felt in years. But the doctor said... I'm sure he was just wrong. You know medicine isn't always entirely accurate. No more than two days later, some adults knocked on the door. They took my mother and they called her a witch. They claimed she used her powers to get cursed of a deadly illness. They said the, the village needs to be cleansed and the witch hunt were important for this. The next day, my mother was burned at the stake. Everyone watched and everyone cheered as she died slowly for a sin she did not commit. This was the first time I wished that I couldn't see anymore. Hmm, so we need to get the other two items. The stake was the person at the stake was her, was either her or her mother. Is this where she gives her children? I wouldn't surprise me at the day I've had. something in there, so there's two items we can't get yet. The room where you were locked in is directly under you. Missing something. Curiouser and curiouser. We have that now. We need the combination. I'm gonna be completely mature. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. So we have water now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, coins. It's like, does that say death counter? I can read, I promise. Hmm. Now, I'm not gonna look at a guide for this. I, I may if I have to, but 
I do have a guy, um, somebody that's watching live, is uh, handed gave it to me. But I'm gonna try not to use it unless I absolutely need it. We do know there's a body here. Thought maybe you use the water on that. What I do? I click too fast. Red paint. So we're making paint. Oh. Okay. Right, see. Any other paintings? Let's go check. Yes. Oh, there we go. You had to be at the right spot for that. I think I know what I have to do now. Were there cherry blossoms before? Your masterpiece is a complete the canvas turns into a sketchbook. fourth blessing was something I would never wish for. Give it back! How'd, how'd you get your hand on such an expensive looking sketchbook, huh? Let's see. Stop, just give it to me! What the heck is this? They flipped through the pages of my sketchbook and their faces got an awful ghostly white. Is this, is she a witch? What are those? I didn't draw that. Hey, I didn't know you were a witch. I'm not! Pages and pages of creepy drawings. What is this? Some kind of cursed casting shit? I didn't make them. I don't know where they came from. It's truth. Why didn't they believe me? Hey, stop! What are you doing? You're just a filthy witch. I'm reporting you. You won't be needing this. Please don't break it! You don't even need all those colors. Nothing but black. You were never supposed to see anything but darkness anyway. Blind freak. Please stop! Give them back! Aw, oh, poor baby, little... Or poor little baby, crybaby. I'm gonna report you. Father will be so proud I caught my own witch. I'm not a witch. I swear I'm not. No, don't, please. Stop, please stop. Please stop. What did I do to you? Please stop. I hate them. I hate my life. Why is this happening to me? Soon enough, the boy dropped the sketchbook. My eyes were focused on the crumpled pages of my sketchbook hitting the ground. So I didn't see until someone screamed. Huh? 
Ah! The boy's right leg twisted almost 360 degrees as if it was some form of nightmarish witchcraft. Then it twisted again. Something broke his leg and he fell down withering in pain. I couldn't understand what I was seeing. You, what did you do to his leg? Nothing, I didn't even touch him. Ah, it hurts! Call someone, we need help. You're a witch, a witch! I'll destroy you, you'll be burned. Burn in hell. The adults came by and took him away. When I finally lifted my gaze from the dirt below my fingers, Iris was standing in front of me. My heart sank. Did she see what happened? Are you alright? I... You didn't... You did, didn't do that to his leg, right? No, of course I didn't. Okay. I... Why are you here? Um, I came because my parents said that I'm not allowed to see you anymore. The second blessing came as a gift. I always met Iris out by the river and we sat and talked for hours. Was Iris the witch? She told me all about the things I couldn't see, but it was different now. She spoke with such happiness and excitement. I couldn't take my eyes off of her. So to celebrate this miracle, I got you something. What? For me? Of course, your eyes work now. It's amazing. We have to celebrate. So I stole this from my family. But shh, don't tell. What? Iris, a sketchbook and paints are so expensive. How? Why? You said you said you always said you wanted to paint. I believe in you. I'm so excited to see what you'll come up with. I couldn't believe it. My very own sketch in watercolors. There were so many things I could paint. Mother was always bedridden, so I made a habit of showing her my paintings. I started with trees and objects, but I took a liking to portraits of people. They always have such distinct and beautiful faces. Only, after only two days, I'd already made eight portraits. But when I flipped to the next page, the different kind of portraits filled the brown paper. It was all painted black, and it was twisted and scary. I hadn't painted this. I didn't even know who this person or creature was. Every morning after that, I found new distorted port portraits in the pages, but I never remembered painting them. Cursed. Or bipolar, either one works. I really like this game. I like getting to do these kinds of like scary games for you guys. By the way, don't forget to check out my other channel, Sinfully Pure. It's full of fun. Actually, I think that's everything. You're done. Good work. What now? Now all the objects need to be burned in the correct order. What's the order? It's up to you figure out. Hands over there might provide a clue. You see. Make sure you have a way to light the fireplace as well. Oh, that's true. Are there any places I haven't checked yet? Lastly, this whole thing tends to accumulate two candles going out. Therefore, you see any candles, put them out. Understood. Okay, so it's another ritual. Let's go. So I do know this, so I'm gonna go for it. Because somebody spoiled it, so. Huh. I can't access that. Weird. Maybe I missed my chance. So 
so I'm gonna do something really quick, guys. I might have blanked out and actually already gotten this, but we'll find it. So what I'm gonna do is pause it right now. So I was told, apparently, I managed to glitch the game. That you were still supposed to be able to access this. That's interesting. Challenges ahead might be beyond your capabilities. There's an object inside my old hiding spot that can help you with that. Okay. So, I might have skipped over an entire part of the game, somebody said. We'll have to see. Uh-oh. Rainbow potion. Uh oh. Oh, things are going bad. Various paintings of a young girl are stored here. Okay, so I need to know which... Let me see. Alright, so I think the first is the hand mirror. This is not going to go well. Oh, this is not going to go well. That's still the same. Everything's burned. Finally, the knife. This illusion should break apart now, shouldn't it? Too bad I was starting to like this place. Fire. Lilith again. But how? How? No, 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 no. No more. Die! <laughs> okay, we're playing this game. I think we missed something. Let me look around real quick. If any candles are lit, we need to extinguish them. I think there was candles. Oh, 
Where I remember seeing candles. Can't really get that one. Oh, burb. No candles, right? Okay, we should be good. Take a number, guys. How many times will it take me to, to fuck this up? Okay, here she comes. Got it. How? Why can't you just go away? Every time I try to be at peace, you ruin everything. Oh God, no. Almost had it. Skip it. Oh, the candles. That's right. I wonder if you need to do them in order. Oh, it's a compress. I thought that was the... the... Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, this one I can do. I think I missed a cutscene by skipping that, but that was a nightmare. Nope, nope, we can do this. We can do this. 
Is this way. Where was where was it? Where was that one? Doesn't always play. That's fine. We got this. Okay, I'm really confused why this one isn't working. Oh, because the like, candle is right there and I'm dumb. I am dumb and I didn't notice the candle. I thought it'd be right on there. Okay, we can do this. I got this one. One more try, then I'll skip. Damn, son. You think you got enough ghosts coming after me? Oh, yeah, they piss. They're a little bit aggro. Got it. Hi. Oh, God, no. Oh, uh, not this again. One more try. Mm. 
One more try. Ah, oh, it's frustrating. But I can do this. The knives part is easy. The fire part is not. It's a dump. Oh, you know what? Yeah, no, I think you've seen Undertale. That, that's it. Yeah, you tried Undertale. I'm not doing that. Skip. Where am I? There's a piece of paper on the floor. The title is Six Blessing. Do you want to read it? I was tied up in front of the whole village where Iris' father gave a speech. It was about bringing forth a new era, about cleansing impurities, about living in peace. Peace. I thought I already lived in peace. I thought I could lit could keep living in peace next to Iris. Was she in that crowd too? Was she watching? Would she cry for me? It didn't matter anymore. I was only a sacrificial pawn in this bigger story. How did Mother feel standing here? Was she relieved to finally be rid of all this injustice? To finally start being at peace? It didn't matter. Mother and father were dead, and now this, this will be over for me too. The monster standing before me finished his speech. The crowd was cheering, they seemed to agree with his preach. He lit the fire and the heat was slowly embracing me. For a moment it almost felt comforting, but that moment was brief. When the fire reached my legs, the pain became unbearable. The crowd's cheers are slowly drowned out by my own screams. Curse this. Curse this. It hurts. Why must I suffer? This isn't fair. Why won't anyone help me? It hurts so much. I hate them. I hate them. How could they cheer for this? How could they be so cruel? I wish they were all dead. I wish they would all suffer. I heard it once in a dream before. Six blessing from a curse. Was I cursed? Because at that moment, I received my sixth blessing. The fire spread incredibly fast in all directions, and the flames that had reached my thighs died out. Instead, the fire spread all around me. Everyone was screeching, terrified. Everyone was burned. What happened? Where's Iris? I used the knife she gave me to untie myself. It cut easily. I tried walking, but I couldn't even stand. My legs hurt. They hurt so bad. I looked around, but only saw fire. People were trying to run, but there was no escape. The floor, the house, everything was on fire. The whole village was covered in a thick smoke. The only place the fire didn't reach was on the ground I stood on. I can't move, but I need to see, make sure Iris is okay. Huh? Make sure Iris is okay? Why should I? It's all going to hell anyway. I sat on the floor holding the knife. My miracle. Is this what came to, of my miracle? I never asked for this. Of all this misfortune, it all started after I got my eyesight back. What are these eyes? I don't recognize them. I don't want them. I never wanted them, not like this. You can have them back! Do you hear me? These are not my eyes! I stabbed and stabbed, I was determined to remove them. After all, if I removed them, things could go back to normal. I could do my chores as usual. 
I could care for my mother. I could spend my days with Iris. It felt so good. It felt so relieving. I stabbed until I stopped seeing. Until I stopped worrying. Until I stopped feeling. Until I stopped moving. I think my final moments I laughed. I laughed at how my life turned out. Six blessing from a curse. Six blessing from a form a curse. Yes. Because curse is the only way I can describe this pathetic life. Welcome back. Hmm. How long have I been out? 14 minutes. That's creepy. You shouldn't watch people sleep. I actually looked around first, I swear. The door is right down this hall, see? I see. You were pretty crazy back there, you know? You must be really good at dodging knives. Thanks. You sure you're not a demon yourself? Hmm. No. I was just joking, you know. So, is it a dead end? Yep. I see. Just as Rune said, you sound disappointed. Don't tell me you're up for more near-death experiences. I just haven't solved anything yet. I didn't find Red and I didn't find the lighthouse. All the things I set out to do. You've got time. You're not dead yet. That adds to count for something, right? Hmm. I guess there's no helping it. So, we just finished a really big area. I like that. I like how this is... Fuck you. Oh, wait. Now they're dead? A dead primal? It's dead? Good riddance. All right, guys, so I will see you next time. We see what's going on more further in the game. Thank you guys for joining me. You're all awesome as always. See you next time. Bye.